Joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T-minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbital internal power. Endeavor is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T-minus 31 seconds. TLS is go for auto sequence start. T-minus 27 seconds and counting. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 18 seconds. 15. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavor and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out-of-this-world space laboratory. Houston, Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavor's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Three engines on board are throttling back up. Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for a burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Booster officer confirms the SRBs or solid rocket boosters have separated two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Endeavour flying at 3,100 miles per hour, 37 miles in altitude, and 51 miles downrange. Endeavour, two engine Marone. Two engine Marone. Roman, on L1, we'd like high load duct heater to Alpha Slant Bravo. Complete. Copy. Commander Mark Polanski adjusting a heater on the Environmental Control and Life Support System. Endeavour can reach Marone in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating well. Now three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Endeavour is flying at 4,000 miles per hour. Booster officer confirms that all three engines are performing well. Endeavour at an altitude of 56 statute miles and 120 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavor, negative return. Negative return. Roman, the extra duct heaters were because we saw a little cooling in the ducts. 
escape. Now four minutes and 18 seconds into the flight, Endeavour is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center and the Space Shuttle Landing Facility in the event of an engine failure. All three Space Shuttle main engines continue to function well. The Environmental Systems Officer also confirmed that the flash evaporator system has been activated to provide cooling before the payload bay doors are open in orbit. 